Hi guys, uh, today I wanted to make a video about the uh, McCoy 39C razor. It's a slant bar razor. Uh, I put in uh, a blade already. Uh, I saw a video uh, made by Darren on the big shave. And he also shaved it a, uh, a slant bar razor made by McCoy. But, uh, but I have the larger version of this uh, slant bar razor. Darren was shaving with the 37C slant bar and I have the 39C. The only difference is the uh, handle. And uh, this is a version made for men with big hands. Now I don't have big hands, but <laughs> I um, prefer this razor with uh, this 39 razor, 39C slant bar razor because it has a larger handle. <clears throat> if you compare it with the 37C, and it's a uh, I like uh, uh, razors with some weight and uh, I like heavy razors so that's why I uh, choose for the bigger version of the slant bar razor but <laughs> it looks very uh, similar with 37C. Uh, now uh, I've already made a video about 37C but in this video I want to uh, yeah, show you uh, to, uh, I want to tell you more about this razor as you can see on one side of the blade I have to be very careful I can't zoom in with this camera but on this side the right side you have more blade exposure so uh, it will give you a very close shave the benefit is that it can give you a very close shave but uh, for beginners this is not a uh, beginners razor because uh, they will cut themselves if they not uh, have the skills of shaving with a safety razor. So you, I don't recommend this uh, razor to beginners, but if you have skilled hands, you can, uh, and you've practiced a lot with other safety razors, uh, you can give this razor a try. It, uh, the benefit of shaving with this slant bar razor is that it can give you uh, a very smooth shave in less passes because it, uh, it comes closer to the skin. So uh, now I'm gonna shave. <laughs> Put the camera over here. I hope you can, can see me. Yes, that's right. Uh, I also uh, gonna use uh, a shaving cream here. I received it from uh, the web shop Barba de Figaro. It's a Dutch uh, web shop, and I'm gonna use this sample pack. Uh, it has a uh, Difficult name, but I can uh, show it here on the screen. Here is the name of this cream, and it smells very, uh, very, very good. It looks very nice, and you can buy it at this uh, web shop, Dutch web shop over here. Can I uh, show it here on the screen? <laughs> And I'm gonna use it today for my shave with the slim bar razor. Now uh, use some water. I have already taken a shower. I apply some water on my face with the brush. I learned. I learned this trick from the Geo Fat Boy. Most shaving creams are so concentrated that you only need a little bit. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this cream. Oh. And I try to apply leather. Oh, this looks more like a soap. I think this is more a soap than a cream, but it doesn't matter. Yes. It smells very great. Wow. <laughs> and I lather it up with a HDM brush, a Chibora brush, but you can make a nice leather of uh, soap with a Bora brush. It's <laughs> smells great. And then I apply it on my face. 
Hmm. It's a very nice scent. It contains natural natural ingredients. Hmm, very nice. It's a uh, I think the other uh, this is a uh, cream. And that this one is a soap. It uh, letters up very well. Wow. No? Put it over here. Looks very. Uh, smells great. Now, the trick with this razor is as always with all safety razors. to not apply too much pressure on the razor <laughs> definitely not with a uh, slant bar razor wow you can uh, hear the cutting of the whiskers nice and cleanly wow No, I, uh, I've done a lot of shapes with these razors, so for me it's not, not a problem. But making videos is a bit trickier. Because I have to talk and shave and concentrate on my uh, shave. So. I have a bigger chance of cutting myself. But <laughs> no, my first pass with the grain almost done. It feels uh, smooth already. Very careful at you around your Adam's apple. And uh, light, short and light strokes with this razor. So now, the first pass is done. And I must say, I can say, it feels smooth already. Smoother than with a, uh, another safety razor. And, uh, just because the this side of the razor is coming closer to the skin because of the blade exposure. There's a lot more blade exposure between the safety bar and the blade. So and I uh, really recommend this razor to people who are more uh, skilled with uh, safety razors. So if you have, uh, if you shave with a McCore HD razor, and in my video with Edwin Jagger and the, where I compare the Edwin Jagger with the McCore HD razor, I say, the I, I said, and I, I could, I can feel that the McCore HD razor was a bit more aggressive. I think after your shave with an HD. Uh, and you have uh, practiced a lot with this uh, HD safety razor, I think you can switch to this razor. Uh, go across, across the grain. Very careful. No pressure. Very important with this slender razor, no pressure at all. This very, as I said at the beginning of, of, of this video, this is a very heavy razor. So you, you can let the weight of the razor, of the handle, do the job. So you don't need any pressure. Because the uh, razor itself will uh, give, the, uh, give the right uh, pressure. Just let it rest on your face. And You have the right uh, 
pressure. A little bit. Well, I think I'm almost done. Normally I need uh, more presses, passes. But with this snap eraser, I'm almost done. Now, my final pass. And I don't need... I think I don't need more passes. That's my final pass. And, uh, Of course, I have an, uh, not a heavy beard pro, but I think even with a uh, this is this is just a the right razor for people with a heavy beard pro because he will cut everything which is coming this way. It's coming in the way of this razor. So. <laughs> ah, smooth. Be very careful with your pass. Against grain. You have a greater, with this slimber race, you have a greater risk of cutting yourself. Short strokes, light and short. And no pressure. Ah. I can't <laughs> I've said it uh, many times in this video, don't apply too much pressure, but I can't repeat it enough. This this is a very aggressive razor, it can bite you. It looks like it's a, it's a mild razor, but that's because I am used to, you, to this razor, to use this. And uh, I have improved my technique, but if you never shave with a safety razor and you will only have used a cartridge razor like a Mach 3 or a Fusion Pro Glide or or some other uh, cartridge razor. <laughs> uh, don't do the same thing as with uh, as you do with your, a cartridge ra razor. So apply a lot of pressure because <laughs> you will really cut yourself. It is uh, <laughs> it's not a child's toy. <laughs> if you and if you've got children. And you uh, keep the razor in the blade, uh, uh, blade in the razor. Uh, you have to keep it away from children because they will cut themselves. It's uh, a very dangerous tool, so don't uh, let children play with this uh, razor. So if you have some children, don't uh, let them come near this uh, s safety razor because uh, maybe you have to go to the hospital. <laughs> No, done.